Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in today. So today what we're going to talk about is one cruise line does not want to have cruise and ducks no more. And then on the next story, a cruise ship breaks free from its moorings on debarkation day. And on the third story, a passenger snuck a gun onto a cruise ship. Not just any gun, a loaded gun. So, as you all know, years ago, there was a trend about the cruising with ducks, right? So now, Disney Cruises, of all cruises who have a lot of kids, the cruising ducks is a good thing for like kids to do, obviously. Me and my wife do it, even though we're adults. It's a fun thing, because I like to put them out there. I like them. Hopefully, kids can find them, and they can keep them or hide them, whatever you choose to do. But now, what Disney is trying to tell people is, basically... They don't want you to hide the ducks in public areas. They don't want you hiding in the stateroom. So that's the only places that you're supposed to hide it is in public areas, but not in, in the stores, right? But secretly, we actually did that the one time. We actually put it inside one of uh, the bags that I was on the mannequins. And somebody actually found that one probably like a couple cruises after I was. But do not do that, all right? But that's something that you should not do. So basically, Disney is just basically telling people we don't want you to bring on the rubber ducks and hide them all over the ship to me i don't know why they're doing that right because the fact is it's just going to cause more and more people not to go into your ship now because of these ducks because remember there's a whole community of this right it's not just like oh a couple people doing it, even a couple hundred it's a whole community there's even facebook groups on the cruising with ducks actually if you don't know about the cruising with ducks, right? I'm actually gonna sh put up a video. It's not my video. It's Alana from Life World Cruise. She has a great video on actually the whole thing about cruising with ducks. She talks about how it all started. It's it's a really good story on how it started. So please, if you're interested in it, please go do it. And I, on every cruise I'm on, I always do the ducks. I put the tags around it. And I always hide it. It's something I like to do. I usually do like 50 to 100 ducks. So you got to figure if I'm doing 50 to 100, there's a lot of other people. It's probably at least on every ship, like at least a couple thousand ducks. Like they, they get hidden, but people find them. Sometimes the workers keep them and they give it back to like their families at home. While passengers were debarking in Galveston, Texas from the NCL Prima on January 5th, the ship broke loose of its moorings. And this caused major delays, a temporary closing of the gangway. No one was allowed to get off the ship because obviously it broke loose of its moorings, so now they have to get it back. And this all happened because of extreme weather, which I'm gonna show you a video at the end of this segment. And while this was going on, all the dock workers took shelter because it was extreme rain, wind, it got just crazy. I think I heard that the wind at one point got up to like almost like 60 miles an hour. And this isn't the first time that the Prima has gotten loose from his moorings. And we just gotta be thankful that nobody got hurt, no passengers, nobody got hurt at all. The only issue that they did have is the gangway actually got damaged. So that they were limited on getting the people off the ship and I'm probably, also getting people on the ship for the following cruise. So, but the cruise eventually did sail. So everybody's out there having fun on their vacation. So by the time they come back, all that should be fixed. And now here's a video of this incident. Off the gangway. Hey, hey, hey. Shut the door. Shut the gangway. On the December 4th to December 7th sailing 2023 at the port of Palm Beach, one passenger managed to bring on a loaded 9mm handgun on the margarita at sea. And the even more crazy thing about her bringing on is that she didn't get caught bringing it on. She got caught when she got off the ship after the cruise. So she had the gun 
on the cruise for the entire cruise. I mean, this is a major issue that happened down there. So um, before I get to the next part of the story, for those of you who do not know is when you get onto the ship, a lot of those times is the people who are scanning you and checking you, that's a third party company. And then when you get off the ship, that is usually custom. And the name of this company is called Wise Security. But now because of this incident, this company is under probation. Now the port is going to be looking at everything they do because of what happened here. And they have until March to fix this issue to make sure something like this does not happen again. Because this is a major issue. Just imagine if this woman was like a crazed person I mean, and, and just went in there. She could have shot anybody on the cruise ship. So, but how she got caught is when she was getting off the cruise ship on December 7th, custom scanned her again and that's when they found the gun the loaded handgun and at that point she was uncooperative and unstable i can say she was definitely unstable because why she was nervous that they were going to catch her with the gun and why was she uncooperative maybe because she was afraid that if she get caught she's going to go to jail or they're going to take away the gun or even worse right or even or if she doesn't go to jail she may even have to pay a major fine so Obviously, I can understand why she would be uncooperative at that point. And at that point, maybe she's thinking, I'm going to have to get a lawyer. Me personally, what I think that they should do is just fire this third party company. Because I did not even know that it's a third party until I started doing research on this video. Okay? So I thought it was always customs. And it should be always customs. It should be a third party doing all the stuff. For our safety to go on onto the cruise ship, it should be customs and the border patrol agents. And this is totally un unacceptable but because somebody could have serious got hurt or killed. Just you have seen so many videos out there of people getting into fights on cruise ships. Just imagine one time, just one time at those fights, someone had a gun. Just think about it. If someone had a gun, someone could be seriously injured or killed. It could be even worse where someone with a gun could even try to maybe take over the whole cruise ship and, you know, that's it, you know. And now you have all these passengers on the cruise ship who are now prisoners at sea. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the show today. Uh, don't forget, Wednesday 8 p.m., I have my live across the waves with, with the whole crew. And Friday, I have another live, 7 p.m., and I'm going to have, be having a guest. Cruising with Kristen is going to be on the live with me. And we're going to talk about her channel. So if you are a career and you ever want to come on my live on a Friday at 7 p.m., please let me know. So you can message me on the Instagram. So just let me know, okay? Oh, and please do not forget to join my Facebook group. So I have a Facebook group, Cruising with Keith. All right? So join it. I'm trying to grow the Facebook group so eventually... I could do a group cruise because when I announce my group cruise, it's going to be through the Facebook group. And until next time, everybody, safe travels.